Type 83, the Royal Navy's air defense cruiser for a new era the Royal Navy's next generation air defense platform could be a 10,000 ton, 180 meter long behemoth like the Ticonderoga, or perhaps something akin to the Type 45 class currently in service. The UK's planned Type 83 warship program will develop the Royal Navy's next generation air defense platform, replacing the existing Type 45 class and introducing a range of new capabilities with the ships likely to include ballistic air hypersonic missile defense and laser-directed energy weapons, LDW. The ships will be the centerpiece of the future air dominance system, FADS, program, currently in the pre-concept stage, which will link together a range of systems to create an air defense umbrella under which the UK military can operate. The UK's Conservative government said earlier this year that the current plan is for the first in-class Type 83 air defense destroyer, which will replace the current class of Type 45. Destroyers above. To enter service in the late 2030s, the new Labour government has begun a new strategic defence review to determine whether changes need to be made to the country's defence modernization program, but it is unlikely to derail the Type 83 program. How many Type 83s will there be? For decades, the UK has been replacing more and more platforms with fewer, more sophisticated systems, a gold-plating process that theoretically provides extraordinary capability, but little depth. Of course. See also, Maritime AMP, Enterprise Cybersecurity Solutions for the Naval Defense Industry Maritime and Enterprise IoT Solutions for the Naval Industry, the UK's defense in a competitive era document, published in March 2021, said the Type 83 platforms would replace the country's existing Type 45 air defense destroyers under a 2030 vision that would put shipbuilding at the forefront of technological and environmental innovation. With the UK Ministry of Defense, MOD, or Defense in the document, committed to playing a leading role across government in supporting the country's shipbuilding sector plans, programs such as the nascent Type 83 will be crucial. The document calls for a concept and assessment phase for our new Type 83 destroyers, which will begin replacing the 7,500-ton Type 45s from the late 2030s. According to previous UK government figures released in January 2024, the last Type 45 destroyers are due to retire by the end of 2038, meaning the Royal Navy could see its air defense capabilities shrink as older Type 45s are decommissioned ahead of previously built Type 83s. A total of six Type 45 destroyers are under construction, but this is itself down from the 12 originally planned, with the class replacing the Falklands War-era Type 42 destroyers above which numbered 14 holes at full strength.